much better football team than we are right Next now. Next week, you're going to find out just how good you are. You can't take it easy this week coming up. to make sure we learn everything we need to learn for our upcoming game. It kind of humbles you and amazes you to see how much passion this guy has for what he does. Whenever the center would have a bad snap, he'd just start chanting, we want Pelly," and then the whole, the whole team would do it. He's a great coach and even greater person. Coach Marinelli is you know, he's the best coach I've ever had. Whenever he mess up, he jokingly yells at you, which I think is good. He's a fake good coach and a fuck, very good friend. It almost reminds me of uh, the Godfather a little bit. Um, the way he just, uh, he, he runs everything in this town, or it seems like. Uh, I think he should be mayor one day or something. How he could flip that switch between the serious coach that's been here for 30 years and the guy that genuinely just loves to joke and laugh around and be around the game that he loves. He just wants the be what's best for the kids, and it, it's not about him. As a kid, I always looked up to Coach Manal. I always wanted to play for him. A lot of the stuff he taught us on the field was really comparable to life skills. Everything he does, anything he wants us to do, we'll do it just because, you know, we want to be a part of it, and we know that what he's telling us is the right thing to do. So anything he tells us we do, and it's caused us to be successful, he clearly knows the right thing to do. I mean, he uh, hasn't had a losing season in quite some time. Obviously, you can see the 30 years of experience. It's just evident in everything he does. Well, it takes a lot out of someone for 30 years. I mean, anything, football, I mean, any, anything that requires something like 30 years is just a major commitment and just shows how how much he cares about something, which shows a lot about his character. Anytime there's a little bit of uh, inclement weather, uh, Coach Manelli always has something different uh, about his outfit that he comes out in, either a full yellow rain suit, the uh, jungle hat. It's an honor to be uh, coached by such a guy. Um, you know, he's really easy to talk to. You can just walk up to him in school. You know, he'll sometimes just grab you out of the hallway and talk to you. The amount of time he spends with the program, really, I mean, it's not like he's off, like you said before, playing golf or doing other stuff with his buddies and stuff. He's really, he's really dedicated and that helps a lot. It's, it's something that, you, that I live for. And when it's over, it's, it's, it takes a while to get over because every day, you know, you get up early, you come and watch film, you got to get ready, you got to get to play, and you got to get, well, you know, who messed up in class, who didn't do their homework, who did, and, and you're going a million miles an hour, and then all of a sudden, you know, it, it just stops. To some guys, ah, eh, you know, it's, it's, just a, it's just a season, but it, it's really a part of me that, that, that's gone. That's, you know, a part of my life that uh, is over. When years from now, when I end up, you know, being invited to their weddings, being uh, sent an email that uh, you know they, they had another child and go to the christenings and 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 helping people out and helping people get jobs and 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 uh, you know being proud of their successes and helping each other out through because there, there are a lot of different uh, crises that come up during the year and you know a lot of them really define what kind of team you're going to be. I remember when my mother passed away last year when I walked into the church and I saw the, the church just filled with my players. You know, you know it's just, it, it just gets you where you know that it's, it's, it's working. It's like a band that you have 
you may not see the guy in, in 20 years, 10, 20 years, but you see him and you pick right up where you left off. And when, when you see at the breakfast on Thanksgiving morning, the guys coming back talking about how when they played there in and what it was like, all of a sudden, our kids feel part of that family because they're thinking to themselves, I can't wait till next year when I get up and talk about how we beat them twice and how we, uh, you know, won a state in an FCAC championship against them. You know, the relationships that, that you make, uh, that I've made through the years, and, and watching kids develop and grow, to know that, you know, we were there uh, maybe at a time when it was really screwed up in their life, and maybe we helped them get through that. I hope it's not the games that people will remember, the games that we won. I, I hope it's the relationships that we've made and, and, and being able to go to Uncle Joe's and, and, and buy you a pizza and, and just sit down and find out how your family is and, and things like that. That, that. Those are the things that I really cherish. I can't, I can't fathom doing anything else. I mean, and the fact that I've been here so long that I'm starting to get, uh, <laughs> I'm not getting sons yet of my players. I'm waiting for that. It's a job like, like none other, and it's a job that, you know, I, I've never really wanted to do anything else, you know, I, and so to, to, to still be able to do that, and, and I'm, we'll look forward to next year and see what's going to happen, and, and we've got a great group coming up, so, I, you know, I mean, to me, there's nothing else, you know, there's nothing better. After Lou Marinelli is gone and, and all our coaches, you know, they'll, they'll have those bonds and, and hopefully the lessons that they've learned um, to help them teach their kids and, and teach the people that they have the, uh, uh, the opportunity to influence. I'm very excited, uh, you know, about what I do. I, I, I really believe in what I do. And, but it's, it's more enjoyable when you see those guys come back and you see the successes that they've had and just looking back at 30 years you know I, I, I hope that when you know my time is done whenever that is and I hope that it's not the, the state championships or the wins but I hope it's those guys you know those guys that uh, can say yeah you know that coach Marinelli you, you know he, he had a little bit to do with it